I'm here with Lee Dixon, so he's an awesome, legendary right back. Not quite as good as Carl Jenkinson, but he's, he's up there. Um, so you were playing that night. Is that your best best day as a footballer? Yeah. Without, you know, I've, I said it's my first full season, and to for the season to end like that, playing that game, almost kind of I'll retire now. Well, I was only 24, so it was it wasn't all downhill from there. But it's certainly the best night of my footballing career. And, the night that everybody asks about, they say, well, what's your best memory? And straight away I say, Anfield 89. So it takes some beating to be fair. So Michael Thomas is through on goal. Mm. Can you try and describe how you're feeling? It must have felt like forever. <laughs> yeah, I think that I was, I played the ball to Alan, as you, as you probably remember, and then I stood still because I was so tired and I realised I couldn't get up there. So I just watched and I saw him running seemingly for hours and miles until five or six Liverpool players converged on him. And I thought, well, he's just surely going to tackle, get tackled now or shoot, and he did neither. He kept running and running and running. And then eventually, as we know, just touched the ball before um, out and kicked the ball away. And, but, and, the feeling as the ball went in the net, I, could, I can't even describe it, I completely broke down and started crying on the pitch and I was like, we've still got three or four minutes to go as I thought, it wasn't that long but it was still a good point of um, how do I get the tears out of my eyes and get back to my position and defend the goal. Okay, so take out the fact that you were playing in that match. Yeah. Which is a better moment, Michael Thomas or Aguero? Don't even, see, uh, don't this is a don't go there. It's not even a question. Really? How can you how can you compare two goals that against one was against the team that you could win the league or they could win the league, i.e. Liverpool and Arsenal? The other one was against a relegation for the QPR. And I'm a City fan, by the way, when I was growing up. So I'm not, you know, I, I've got an affiliation to Aguero on that goal because it won City the league that year. But it's not even in the same ballpark, so it's a question that people ask, and it shouldn't really, because it's not the same. It's becoming increasingly unlikely that I'll see Arsenal win the league this season. In the West. But I would suggest you won't. <laughs> but if Arsenal were in a situation like that, do you think the current side would have the bottle, the strength, the belief to do what you did in 89? Well, it's a very hypothetical question. Um, there's certainly a lot of belief in that team throughout that season. Um, this team is the team now is hugely talented, more talented I would say from a, a technical point of view than we were. But they, there's all sorts of sorts of making a team and part of the, the drive and desire and, uh, and uh, now to get over the line is part of it. And has this team got that? We don't know because it hasn't pushed itself to the point of nearly winning the league. And when that happens, and I hope it does, I'm still an Arsenal fan, when it does, we can obviously win cups, we've seen that, um, but now we've got to go that extra bit and the challenge for the league. So if Arsene Wenger was the manager that night, what would have been the difference between Wenger and George Graham? Um, tactically, would he changed it like George did? I think George was probably... Um, I think more tactically aware in that respect. The totally different types of coaching coaches. One's a, a mover of people on the training pitch, which is George. You do this, you do that, very robotic in his setup. Arsene is more free flowing, allows you to go and play and learn off each other. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. George's way, if you don't do what he says, you're not in the team. So it's a more um, a rigid formation. That's what that, 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 that night needed. Although we needed to score two goals, the best thing that he said was it's not about scoring goals, it's about keeping the clean sheet. Because keep a clean sheet and we'll get chances. And what he did by his psychology with that is he took the pressure off the forwards because he said, don't worry about scoring. Put it on you. You know, and he put it on us, quite right, keep a clean sheet. But that's what we did. We kept clean sheets most weeks, so it was just what we did. So he wasn't adding pressure to us, he was just saying, do what you normally do. And then the forwards do what you normally do. He didn't pile the pressure on them saying, we need early goals. I think that was a stroke of genius. So just my last question, and it's extremely long. It's a long interview. So <laughs> <laughs> if George Graham was the Arsenal manager today, yes. where would the Arsenal team be? On the training pitch. No, 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 no. Would they win the league? Would they be top four? Um, I don't know, I don't know whether George. George has certainly changed the defensive mentality of the team, and that would improve us because that's one of our weaknesses. But whether whether he's allow, allowing the free flow of football that's being played now, that might be slightly changed the other way. So you gain something, you lose something. Whether that would be enough for Lee, might, might not be. Yeah, thank you very much for your time. Fancy meeting you here.